Good morning, this is Duane, and today I'd like to talk about chords that contain a second. They're notated like this, C2 or D flat 2. Or sometimes you'll have uh, like an E flat 2 uh, plus a seventh. But we'll talk about all that. So let's take a, a basic triad. That's a C chord, as you know. So a C2 would be including the second note of the scale. And sometimes it's just played like that. But sometimes it's also glanced off of like this. And sometimes it's played slowly like this. You, you've heard that kind of thing. The Carpenters build a whole career on that that sort of thing. It's a, it's a very nice uh, background. Uh, a, kind of a lazy background for uh, a wide variety of songs or settings. So that that would be it on C, wouldn't it? C two, D flat two would be the D flat chord plus the second degree of the scale. You're always playing the second degree of the scale, and notice the second degree of the scale is a whole step above the root. So where would D two be? It would be right there, wouldn't it? Okay. Where would E flat two be? Whole step above the root there. E2 would be there, no, whole step, there it is. F2 would be, and so on, okay, we won't, I won't take the time to go through all of them, okay? So that's uh, all there is about how to play a second chord. Now, they can be inverted, of course, uh, so if, if you see a chord like that, don't let it trick you, that's, that's not a G chord, that's a C2. Okay, because it's got a second in it. Sometimes the root is left out, by the way, uh, at least for a while. We started with a C2, then we went to an A minor 2. There's an A minor chord, but I put the second in it. Then we went to an F7 2. Here's the F major 7th chord, okay? But I, but I played the, the second. Okay, that's the idea. And remember that chords can be inverted like that, okay? So that's it for uh, two chords. So we'll see you tomorrow with another uh, tip on piano playing or music theory in general. If you like this sort of thing, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for my free newsletter on chords. It, it's an entire course that takes you from square one to really advanced chords, plus a lot of tips about other things too. So come on over and sign up. It's fun and it's free, so we'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.